So, my name is Martin Hegel. I'm chairing the Surface Robotics Group within the International Federation of Robotics. Today, it's a true pleasure for me to present you the numbers, the figures regarding service robotics. When we talk about service robotics, then we mean robots which are used in areas outside the manufacturing scenarios. These uh, areas are divided into two main categories. The first category is service robots for professional applications. Professional applications means they are part of a solution, of a professional solution, where they actually take over or are part of a service. And the second category is service robots for domestic and personal use. These are robots which address the consumer domain, which are found in everyday's domain. Maybe also your own a robot lawnmower, or a robot vacuum cleaner, or window washer, or other devices. Here on the slide, you have already seen that uh, um, we have significant growth in terms of actors in that area. So we count about 15% of these uh, new service robotics companies as startups. If we look into the, f uh, the first category, which is uh, uh, service robots for professional and domestic use. If we look at the figures, then we see interesting and impressive growth uh, in installation numbers. When we look into uh, entertainment and leisure robots, we had a past growth rate in terms of units of close to 40%. What is the future? So we see, uh, apart from the typical household robots I was just mentioning, uh, robots uh, which actually um, offer help, assistive services to mobility impaired pe uh, people, uh, we had a strong increase in 2014 from a relatively low volume, but it's uh, quickly uh, growing. And uh, we, of course, expect a long-term growth uh, in the future as we increasingly talk about demographic change and uh, other uh, large-scale effects. Here we see that about four categories of uh, robots in the professional service robotics domain uh, make up about two-thirds or two-thirds of all robot in, in, uh, installations in 2014. Uh, this comprises robots in the defense area, field, mainly with field robotics we understand robots in agriculture, for cow milking and for livestock farming. Logistics is a tremendous growth area and also what we see is uh, mobile platforms for general purposes from uh, security, uh, safety, um, rescue, and other applications, and last but not least, also for research purposes. So all these categories, actually, or these book categories make up uh, the of robot installations. And you see also the growth numbers regarding the service robotics domain for professional applications, which is, or which was 11% more in 2014. Here are the other domains, which are um, part of the professional service robotics uh, population. This is medical robots. Here you see that it's more or less stable, even a little bit decreasing in terms of uh, numbers, construction, cleaning, inspection, and so on. But here from the scaling, you clearly see the main uh, activity is here in the uh, field, agricultural robot, logistics, and, um, and uh, general mobile platforms. We see a new category of robots coming up, which are actually worn by an operator or by a user. We call these, uh, this category exoskeletons. These are more or less soft uh, body-worn kinematics. Of course, logistics is one of the major trends which we see internationally. Autonom uh, autonomous guided vehicles, or short AGVs, uh, are installed in increasing numbers. And uh, also here we see a clear interaction between the industrial and non-industrial uh, sectors. We use more or less the same technologies in many ways, the same uh, platforms. Here we have the medical systems uh, category. Initially I was uh, talking about a stable or even a reduced uh, 
installation figure for the last years, but we see clearly see new trends, which we also could uh, observe and uh, describe in the World Robotics uh, Yearbook here, uh, that uh, we also see a new category of medical robots emerging. These are especially robots which conduct or which guide catheters, which are much more smaller in size for microsurgery. Again, I was uh, mentioning field robotics, uh, especially uh, regarding the agricultural domain. So what is the uh, forecast for, for service robots for professional use? Here you see the um, uh, scale uh, which were reported by the companies in, uh, in sales for the next few years. Again, these are accumulated numbers. And again, I was briefly mentioning 20 billion uh, US dollar, which we see as uh, sales potential for the next four years. They, are, they ha just happen to be the it's just have to be the same number as for the domestic and uh, personal domain. So 20 billion US dollars for the next 